guided by the zero to 10 point agenda of the president, we are carrying on with the macroeconomic policies of the previous administration, but ramping up infrastructure spending, promoting regional and rural development, and investing heavily in human capital development, which includes uh, health and education and nutrition. In the first 50 days of this administration, I can say that we are on the right track and, uh, and at a faster pace to make sure that we achieve our goals. Allow me to just highlight a number of important areas, namely accelerating infrastructure development projects, <coughs> revisiting agricultural and rural development policies, and innovations in development planning. First, we have moved quickly to implement reforms to accelerate infrastructure development, which has been rather slow in the previous administration. The, invest the Investment Coordination Committee, or the ICC, has so far approved 10 projects already, just last August 2nd, with a total of 320 billion pesos in project costs. The NEDA board, chaired by the president, will take up these projects for approval in September and thereafter implementation by the concerned agencies. The NEDA board approval is the last stage of the hurdle uh, for projects. The list in, the, this list includes, among others, Projects in rural development, including irrigation, farm irrigation, farm to market roads, even school buildings in uh, depressed areas, regional hospitals, airport modernization, flood management, the North South Railway South Line project, and the Metro Manila Rapid Transit, bu Bus Rapid Transit project on EDSA, among others. Likewise, NEDA, through the Infrastructure Committee, or Infracom, has directed prioritizing the completion of the Mindanao Railway project's initial phase. The project will be implemented in 2017, once approved by the NEDA board within the year. The, inf the Infracom has also specified measures to urgently address the Metro Manila traffic crisis and decongest the city. One such measure is the immediate implementation of the bon Bonifacio Global City Ortigas Link Bridge which is expected to divert 25% of the EDSA traffic. Another is the early resolution of the common station for the MRT3, LRT1, and MRT7, which has been uh, stymied by controversies in the previous administration. The Department of Public Works and Highways will hand the final configuration of the station to the DOTR, or Department of Transportation. And uh, likewise, the Infracom has urged the use of the Patangas and Subic ports to, to decongest the Manila ports. The Infracom has also identified measures to ad address institutional, legal, and policy issues in relation to infrastructure programs.